you call yourselves your own little Switzerland. How exactly will this work? Yes, so, and we actually were started in 2013, mm -hmm. and so we've been at this for a few years, but this is really our uh, announcement today mm -hmm. uh, with the deep invested partnership with Silicon Valley Bank. Um, and the way that we're independent is, and we have been independent from day one, is we work with corporations the world over, helping them navigate the startup ecosystem. They are our members, which is part of our, our business model. And so we are also, though, we view ourselves as a resource for the entire ecosystem. You call them members, not clients. That's right. Why would these companies pay for something they're used to getting for free? Yes, so the getting for free, and what you're referring to is many venture firms, particularly over the last decade, have built out corporate outreach arms, executive briefing centers, you know, business development functions who work for the fund and whose interests are in promoting the interests of the fund's portfolio companies. We're an independent company. Mm -hmm. uh, our, our model and our revenues come from our members, so we're not an outreach arm of any one fund. In fact, we work with all of the funds in the introductions we make, in the private events that we have. We have VCs from all over the valley and the world uh, in, represented in those. And of course, Sherpa does have venture capital funds as well, early stage and late stage. Is there a Chinese wall between? There is. Mm -hmm. We're not a portfolio company mm -hmm. of Sherpa Capital. The shared history there are the co-founders, and Sherpa Pishavar and Scott Stanford. But we operate as an independent company, uh -huh. and we are, again, working with our members. And so it, our members want to find the best companies, the best emerging technologies. They want to be aware of the new business models that are emerging, mm -hmm. regardless of who's backed them, regardless of where they are based in the world. So let's talk about some examples. A company like Salesforce, which has fairly strong connections in Silicon Valley, why would they want access to something like the Silicon Foundry. Yes, and for Salesforce, and each member is a bit different, right. right? Where they are in their life cycle, where we can provide the most value. With Salesforce, we tend to work with their ventures portfolio companies, helping them network within the portfolio. Also, we spend all day long meeting with corporations from around the world, mm -hmm. so we can provide connections between corporations in Europe, in the States, in Asia, to their portfolio companies. Is the demand for acquisitions, startup acquisitions, is that impacting the interest here? I think so. I mean, I think, so as we think about it, when we work with these corporations, generally it's for one of multiple outcomes, if not all of them they're looking for. They're looking to identify startups where they can be a customer or perhaps a partner or a strategic investor. As we, as we know, a third of all deals now, venture deals also have a corporate participating, and of course, M&A activity. So that's, you know, they're, they're all a spectrum, uh, and sometimes they start as a customer relationship, and then ultimately blossoms to an M&A. So on that note, where does your responsibility to a member stop? I mean, would you help an acquisition go through from beginning to end, uh, or would you say hands off? We do. I mean, so we, it really depends on the member, uh, the, the depth through which we uh, stay mm. post-introduction. Mm. And, and again, it all starts with identification. We do. We have members who are, we've been a part of the diligence process on an M&A deal. Certainly, if they have corporate venture arms, we tend to work with them because mm -hmm. they're in the business of deal sourcing and mm -hmm. qualifying. What we don't do is we don't compete with banks. Um, we, you know, we're not incentivized. I think that's an important part of our model. Given it's a membership-based model, a flat annual fee, our incentives are entirely aligned with our members. And we're, we're unbiased, and so we're not pushing them to do a deal, but we're supporters, and we help them through the deal processes. 